Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Welcome to On Deck. I'm Tyler Redman. As always, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I do appreciate it. While you're here, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date with everything going on here at On Deck and, of course, with the Atlanta Braves and, of course, all across Major League Baseball. So, uh, it was a busy week for Alex Anthopoulos last week, capped off by a huge trade for Matt Olson which, of course, raised a lot of eyebrows across Major League Baseball because that meant that Freddie Freeman would not be returning to Atlanta and not to relive that, but as time goes on, more and more about Freddie Freeman and his dealings with the Braves comes up, and I feel like we kind of have to talk about it. I wasn't going to talk about it, but as time goes on, more and more things come out. The article of Buster Olney uh, that came out earlier this week, and, of course, it continues to come out, more details about it, uh, but... Before we get into that, let's talk about the trade with Matt Olson again, because I can't overstate how good of a deal this was. You traded Christian Pache, Shea Langoliers, Ryan Cusick, and Joey Estes for a guy who, if you're going to replace Freddie Freeman, this is the only guy that's going to be able to do that and us be okay with it. I mean, I, I really think that's the case. Uh, and, and obviously, he's a great player, and he, he's younger than Freddie, and all, all, all of the business decisions were, were right were correct here, right? The, they were the right moves. With that said, I know a lot of you uh, probably weren't happy uh, originally, but then the extension came, an eight-year, $168 million extension, and I think everybody sort of uh, accepted that this was a new era and this is what it was going to be. And Matt Olson was our new first baseman, and that just is what it is. And I, I got to be honest with you, I love this deal. I mean, look, I love Freddie Freeman too. Don't get me wrong. I think we all are in agreement there. But Matt Olson is going to be a guy that we love to watch for the next eight years. I mean, this is a guy who's going to see the prime of his career, I think, in an Atlanta uniform. He's an Atlanta-born kid. Uh, I mean, this is a guy that I think belongs here. And, you know, I, I mentioned the, the, the constant back and forth with Freddie Freeman and the Atlanta Braves, and I think for just a second I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So from, from all indications, th this seems like it was a miscommunication between Freddie Freeman, his agent, and the Braves. I, I don't think it was so much Freddie Freeman as much as it was his agent. That, that can be said from the Chipper Jones interview, uh, the, the Buster Olney article that, that broke everything down. I suggest if you can, go find that. Uh, it basically what it seems like happened is the Braves gave their offer. First, it was five year one forty, and they even went up on that, I believe. And then the Braves, you know, got a got an offer from Freddie Freeman's agent, and they were told that he had one out. They had one hour uh, to either agree or not agree, and they moved on uh, because they were given an ultimatum, and it was an ultimatum that did not uh, suit their party at all. And to be honest with you guys, you know, if I'm going to pick a side, I'm going to pick the side that didn't give the ultimatum because I, I think Freddie, I think Freddie genuinely wanted to be an Atlanta Brave. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how much communication there was with his agent. Uh, it was revealed that Freddie Freeman was given an offer uh, last year prior to the season. He was given an offer last year at the trade deadline, which I find very surprising, but it happened. Uh, that that's when that five year one forty happened, and it never went through. And I, at that point, I question, I question, you know, I question first of all his agent, uh, because I I think that's the real uh, unfortunate part about this is that his representation I don't think fully represented him, uh, and and I think we've gathered that from multiple sources now. Um, but you know, it, it's unfortunate. It really is. I, I think it probably did catch Freddie off guard. I think it probably did, uh, you know, tick him off. To, to with, with lack of a better word, I think it probably did that the Braves moved on from him in such a quick fashion and went and got Matt Olson. Um, but at this point, I think it's time. You know, I've said this numerous times throughout the week, but it's it's going to be a long time for this just completely goes away. Um, however, uh, I think it's time to move on. I think it's time to appreciate the fact that we have a great first baseman and Matt Olson. I mean, this is a guy who's not going to be exactly like Freddie. We do not need to expect him to be exactly like Freddie. 
but he's a guy who is going to be well liked. He's going to be a fan favorite. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.